Welcome to this short demonstration about Motor Wizard. Motor Wizard is an add-in product for SolidWorks that helps users to create and design electrical motors. To start a new design, you click on New Design. Here we mention the type of motor. In this case, we would like to do a permanent magnet DC motor. Next, we specify the rated parameters of the motor, namely the rated current, the input voltage, the rated speed, the rated power, and the operating temperature. We have to size the motor. Let us design a motor which has 24 slots and 16 poles. Once the motor model settings have been determined, we will go to the dimensions of the motor. To start with, let us size the stator. We have two different stator positions. We will select the outer stator position. We also have various types of slots available. We will select the square slot type for this example. Then, we will have to input the various stator dimensions, the outer diameter of the stator, the inner diameter, and the length. Now, in case you are curious what these values represent pictorially, you can see the stator configuration and what each of these dimensions refers to. Next, we move on to the slot. I will type in the various slot dimensions. For example, the body top width is about 11.8 millimeters. Again, we can preview what these dimensions correspond by looking at the figure. Lastly, we will assume the stator to be made of M27 laminate. Next, we will move on to the rotor. In this example, we will design a surface mounted rotor with radial magnets. We also have a lot of other options for the rotor type, such as bread loaf magnet, surface mounted with three radial magnets, etc. The rotor core properties. We can preview what they are, and then we can enter the various dimensions. The rotor outer diameter is 84 millimeters. The inner diameter is 69.4 millimeters, and the length is similar to the stator length, 100 millimeters. Next, we will move on to the properties of the magnet. Let me preview so that we can get an idea of what the dimensions represent. We will start with the magnet thickness. We will retain the value as 3 millimeters, the magnet angle as 17.5 degrees, and the rest we will retain the default values. For the magnet material, let us go ahead and assign a samarium cobalt material. Finally, for the shaft, we have a non-magnetic material, stainless steel. Once the rotor dimensions have been defined, let us take a look at the windings. As far as winding is concerned, Motor Wizard automatically generates the layout for the winding based on the motor type, the number of slots, and the number of poles that we defined earlier. For example, we can view the layout table, and here the three phases and the coil numbers are displayed. One can also do a manual layout, where the user can fill in the table. This allows flexibility to study items, such as fault simulation of the motor, etc. Next, we go on to the properties of the coil. We have one parallel path, and we will have 38 conductors per turn. Let us input the wire diameter to be 0.914 millimeters. And we have one strand per conductor, and we also have a wire insulation thickness. We select copper as the winding material. Once we have defined all the electric motor related dimensions, we can hit the validate button to ensure that all the values are consistent. Once we validate, we can generate the motor. Motor Wizard automatically generates a SolidWorks model based on the dimensions that we entered. Next, we go on to the simulation of the motor. One can study the performance of the motor, the no load characteristics of the motor, or the motion characteristics of this motor. We can perform all of these in one simulation, or you can select specific cases for different simulations. For example, in simulation one, we are interested in studying the performance of this motor. For simulation two, we can study its no load characteristics. And for simulation 3, we can study the motion characteristics. Once we have all three simulations defined, we can hit the Solve button to solve our motor. The solution has been completed, 
and we are now ready to look at the results. Let us get to simulation one, where we asked the program to solve for the performance of the machine. We can here study the torque versus speed curve, or we can study the efficiency versus speed curve. In the simulation two, we asked for the no load performance of the machine. For example, we can get the back EMF of the motor. This is an important quantity that motor designers are looking for. One can get these values in the form of a curve or data in the form of a table. These data can be exported to a text or Excel file. Finally, let us get to the motion characteristics of the motor. For example, one may be interested in getting the steady state torque ripple for the motor. Motor Wizard readily gives us the torque ripple for the motor that we designed. Last but not least, let us understand the inductance of the coils. The inductance has been calculated and conveniently presented in the form of a graph. Since Motor Wizard uses both analytical and FEA methods to do the calculation, one can actually look at the magnetic flux density. This is the plot of the magnetic flux density. You can see the high flux areas in your motor. Thank you for viewing this short demonstration. For more information, visit our website, www.emworks.com.